I want you to know that it's been my honor to serve as your president. I've observed you in your classes. I've had the opportunity to have you in my home, to dance with a couple of you at the SCO, to see you perform on stage and in concerts galore, to see your athletic prowess, and even conduct a few of you in the orchestra. But maybe most importantly, I've watched your humanity and the work that you've done in your student organizations, in your commitment to causes large and small, and you asserting yourself in this ever-changing world. I can assure you that you are ready for what awaits you in the world beyond. That the only thing remaining for you to do is to go out and fulfill your destiny. In college, I learned that it's hard to teach someone how to be compassionate. But OBs are so amazing and unstoppable because we don't have to be taught to care. We just know. We identify issues and work together to construct solutions. We learn about problems and ask, how can we help? And most importantly, we enlist younger OBs in the work because we recognize that our time here is temporary, but the need for compassionate and eager leadership is forever. Over the last four years, this class has stepped up to the plate in a big way. We made a difference on this campus and in so many other communities as well. The world needs people who can see the big picture. The world needs you. It needs your courage, your compassion, and your convictions. I'm so grateful to have been nurtured by and to have learned from this class. Thank you, class of 2019, and congratulations. This school and its graduates have made the world a more just, more creative, more diverse, and inclusive place. Oberlin is, and I quote, one of the great colleges, not only of our nation, but the world. That's how Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. described this school when he gave the commencement address to your graduating class in 1965. He spoke about remaining awake through a great revolution, or as you might say it now, staying woke. So yeah, Dr. King advised y'all to stay woke. And that is what we need from you still, Oberlin. Because the world might be more just and inclusive than it has been, but we have not gotten even close to justice and inclusion. We still need this school and her graduates to step up. <laughs>